Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Hazley Nut or Hazel, um, I go by both, bringing to you an audio commentary of the whole series of We Made Vox vs SKT1, a pro league match um, played on December 13th, Monday. Uh, right now it's actually Thursday, so I hope those of you who have been dying to see this series haven't been waiting too long. Um, by the way, I want to thank everyone who left me comments and suggestions and criticisms on Caller's channel. I have been reading them and I have been taking them into account and hopefully I'll get better as um, I commentate more. Um, this is actually my first solo commentary for those of you who don't know. I did a dual commentary with Cholera, but now I'm going solo. <laughs> so hopefully um, I'll do well and hopefully you'll, en uh, you'll be able to enjoy these. Um, please do leave me comments, questions, suggestions, random facts about yourself, so on. Um, I love reading them and they really help me become better at commentating and hopefully I will become better. Um, as time progresses. Today we will be seeing, uh, for the game one, a Protoss v Protoss between Bisu and Pure. Um, Bisu from SKT1 and Pure from Lee Mei Fox on Medusa. Um, but as we know, Bisu is the reigning champion of the Club Day MSL. He actually won amongst many, many other Protosses. I believe there are four, four Protosses in the semifinals. So Bisu um, is looking pretty sharp, I'd have to say. He's nearly 60% against Protoss, while Pure is 53%. Um, Pure is doing pretty well. I think he was like f uh, 14, 10 or something. I don't know. He, he is doing pretty well against Protoss. But when we have someone called Pure and we have someone called Bisu, we just have to kind of lean toward Bisu. I'm, my bets are on Bisu in this match. He is arguably the best player in the world right now. He beat out many other stunning um, Protoss players like JNB, um, hopefully that wasn't a spoiler for anyone, like JNB, um, uh, all these other Protosses. Um, and just so that we don't get confused by color, we have Bisu spawning in tan at the 7 o'clock position, and we have Pure spawning in red at the 2 o'clock position. And I'm guessing that um, both players will probably go for, I guess, relatively standard builds, relatively safe builds, or just common builds, just because this is a three-player map, and you're going to get scouted out pretty early. Um, there's no doubt about it. So they'll probably not go for anything too cheesy or too out of the box. So this is Medusa. Um, there are some map imbalances with Medusa, but since we do have a mirror match, I think what's more important in these mirror matches is build order deficits. It, some of it really depends on luck. Um, because we have Protoss v Protoss, it's mostly, I don't know, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, we did see that in the Club Day MSLs that I was just talking about with Bisu versus Jangbi. Um, in that game, actually, um, I think Bisu won mainly, well, he was skilled. He is unarguably very skilled in micro and so on, but um, he went to gate robo without an expansion and JNB went to gate robo with an expansion and because of that, well, Bisu was just able to roll in with superior numbers and superior reinforcements. And so, I don't know, um, based on some of the games that I played Protoss v Terran on Medusa, that cliff might um, turn out to be key. Um, what happens a lot is that Reaver Harass is extremely effective on Medusa b just because you can harass the natural and then harass the um, main, ex um, both expansions, or both bases. But that might not happen here because um, I doubt that the Protosses, either Pure or Bisu, would expand to that upper cliff right away because it's just hard to um, hold against Reaver Harass. So they'll probably take their natural expansion um, where the choke is nicer to hold. Um, and as you can see, both players are going for something like a, um, a one gate into Psychor, I think. Uh, I believe Bisu's Psychor is a little bit later because he he's building um, Zealots, I think. Um, he has one Zealot out chasing, they're both chasing the probe because they really don't want their tech to be discovered since intelligence really is golden. <laughs> it looks like Pure was trying to do something like a manor pilot. I'm not sure if you can manor something like um, the 7 o'clock position, but as we know, um, manor pylons are very annoying. Bisu is actually quite good with his manor pylons. All my games, or all his games that I've seen, Protoss v Protoss, he's mannered every single time. Um, so Bisu has produced two Zealots to chase away that probe. I'm not sure why he's built two Zealots unless he's planning to use them. Um, it seems to be this um, 
investment that he has to use to do some harass or do something, but I guess he's just going to try to usher out those probes, uh, that probe. Um, meanwhile, both players are going for Dragoon range, and Pure looks like he's going for a robotics facility, possibly for some Reaver play. Um, Reavers are quite annoying for that cliff. Um, you can jump up and down, and that shuttle is really hard to pick off because of the cliff behind your base. Um, and it looks like Bisu went for two gate instead, so he'll be pumping zealots and dragoons. Um, we'll probably see that. And it, this is a smart idea. Pure is mining out that little um, mineral patch because otherwise a scouting probe could build a probe and jump across the temples there. Um, so anyway, this um, pro league series actually, this pro league match interests me a lot because, well, we have SKT1 playing, and SKT1 is probably, even though I don't know that much about Pro League, SKT1 is pretty much my favorite team, not only because Beast is on it, but also because um, Boxer built it up from the ground. You have people like I Love Uvi, the Bonjour Terran, <laughs> um, although he's not doing too well this season. Um, and then you have all these wonderful powerhouse players like Best, Bisu, Fantasy, who came up as a runner-up in OSLs. It makes you kind of wonder why SKT1 is still ninth in the um, season. It's kind of confusing to me, but I think the answer is the Zerg players. They have all these wonderful Protoss and Terran players, but they only have names like the Zerg or S2 as Zerg players, so they haven't been able to do as well. But recently, recently they have been doing well. They are actually going 5-0. They've been going 5-0 in Pro League, um, possibly because the Zerg players have just been stepping it up, um, and they've just been doing really well. And we'll see if they can make it 6-0, or if they'll lose to Wee May Fox. Somehow I doubt it. Um, I'm not trying to be biased here, but Wee May Fox is 11th right now in the um, season, and they just lost to Eastro, I believe, which is not exactly the best um, team in Pro League. So both players are going for Reavers. Um, Bisu did get that gateway before Pure, so he'll be able to have more of a ground advantage, I think. Um, and Bisu has just now gone for his robotics support bay, so Pure 